Well, she trekked across Europe in 2021, calling attention to the Syrian refugee crisis. And now she is slated to continue that conversation with a journey across the U.S., visiting places in our nation's history, including a stop right here in Philadelphia. Lamal is going to walk down south or up South Broad Street, um, kind of go through City Hall and then end up at Love Park. Philadelphia Theater Company said they had been working for months to carve out a route and then pitch it to the walk production team. Come mid-September, Little Amal will be in Center City. Philadelphia is the 12-foot-tall puppet's fifth stop along her 6,000-mile journey across the U.S. in almost three dozen cities. While Amal is set to highlight the ongoing refugee crisis abroad, artistic partners, the Philadelphia Theater Company, say they also want to spotlight issues plaguing our city. The refugees and the houseless population share one important thing in common, which is where do they sleep tonight? Tyler and I are excited about art that interacts with social change and that feels hyper local and can bring issues into the light. And that's one of the reasons Little Mall will be stopping at Love Park. We wanted to do something that felt really important to Philadelphia and Love Park is sort of an iconic uh, place. But then we also wanted to talk a little bit about the um, houseless population. Um, so we're working with Broad Street Ministry. A mall has gone across Europe meeting celebrities and even stopping in Brooklyn, New York last year tugging at the social consciousness of those who see her and also bringing people together through art. So little Amal is expected to come to Philadelphia in mid-September and the Philadelphia Theater Company says leading up to her arrival, they'll be asking the community to come together to build a blanket for her to sleep on at Love Park. Brian? Little Amal having a very big impact. Okay, Christy, thank you.